my wife and two children. If the partisans get them, they will be killed. I want them out of Rome and safe. That's what I want from you, priest. You're asking me to save your family. If you really believe what you preach, you'll do it. You expect me to help you after what you've done. You think you can demand forgiveness? You think it comes automatically just because you want it? I'm not talking about myself. You've turned this city into a concentration camp. You've tortured and tortured my friends. You violated every principle of God and man. I can't believe it. After all you've done, you want mercy. I told you. For my family. They're just part of you. Part of what you stand for. They've taken whatever they could get without a thought for the suffering all around. And now you demand that they be saved. See you in hell first. No. You're no different from anyone else. All your talk means nothing. Charity, forgiveness, mercy. It's all lies. You hear me? Lies! Don't you talk to me about God! And humanity. I know what humanity is. It's one half with the power and the will to use it, and the other half only cattle to be led. There's no God, no humanity. You hear me? Colonel, it is quite obvious that after your forces retreated, you were ordered to set up a secret line of communication. Colonel Kapler, we know all about your wife and children. Minna, isn't it? And Franz and Liesel. What do you know? What has happened to them? Now you're playing games, Colonel. Your wife and children disappeared from Rome. They were smuggled into Switzerland, as you well know, safe and sound. Now, how was it done? Who helped them? I think some organization. Now, if you tell us how it was done and who helped them, it might do some good at your trial. I don't know. Colonel, tell us who was it? After the liberation, Monsignor Hugh O'Flaherty was honored by Italy, Canada. Australia, given the United States Medal of Freedom and made a commander of the British Empire. Herbert Kapler was sentenced to life imprisonment for war crimes. In the long years that followed in his Italian prison, Kapler had only one visitor. Every month, year in and year out, O'Flaherty came to see him. In 1959, the former head of the dreaded Gestapo in Rome was baptized into the Catholic faith at the hand of the Irish priest, 